is up, right? This is Upright Cards, and welcome back to another episode of King of FanDuel Season 2. Right now, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the season. There's maybe not even a month, really, left of just games. I know that the Chiefs still have to play the Broncos this week. We still have to play the Saints, the Falcons, and I think I'm leaving out one more. This season's gone by just so quickly, and that tends to happen when you're staying busy. But as you can see on the screen right now, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's this little uh, thing right down here. That's my recording. It won't go away, so sorry if it gets in your way. Last week, our challenge was a little Thanksgiving challenge in which we had to pick players who were 220 pounds or over. The results really varied, but in the end of the day, uh, having Patrick Mahomes is what made my lineup. I even looked into Tyreek, but I thought with his speed, there's no way he was 220, and he wasn't even, I think, 200 when I looked. Wide receivers were a very tough to choice, as I talked about last week. Having Mahomes was easy, picking running backs and Derrick Henry and Nick Chubb was easy. Uh, but when you got down to your wide receivers, you'll see 100%, 100%, and 67%. And that was just because I think we only found four or five receivers that we had that um, were over 220. We did have Julio Jones. Multiple of us, I think two out of the three of us, had Julio Jones. But Julio was like a scratch. I had Todd Gurley last week. He was a scratch. And so both players did not play. And I told the guys the morning of, I can't find players over 220. I was trying to Google stuff. I was, you know, trying to figure things out. And uh, they were really helpful and really nice and kind enough to be all like, Michael Pittman Jr. is over 220. We all had him. We all had Mike Williams. Two-thirds of us had uh, Mike Evans. Hunter Henry was popular, Leonard Fournette. I thought we'd get more goal line work, but he was also popular. And uh, the Jets' defense was just really cheap, and even though they lost by 17 points to Miami, they still gave me nine points. So comparing teams right now, um, Mahomes was a good pick over Allen. Nick Chubb we both had, Leonard Fournette we both had. He did have um, A.J. Brown, uh, Mike Williams and Pittman were matches. Darren Waller was somebody who I was like, iffy on. Uh, it turned out Hunter Henry was better. Seven catches, 67 yards. And so the four reception for 23. Like I said, we both had uh, Fournette. And then, of course, Jet Saints. Saints had a very easy game. I wasn't sure what to make of the Saints because I wasn't sure with just not having Drew Brees how many points they would score. Even Alvin Kamara was somebody I looked into, obviously didn't choose for, I think he didn't make the way either, and Denver didn't have a quarterback. This week, I don't know, but the Chiefs play him, and it's going to be an interesting game, so we'll see. I don't think them having their starter starting quarterback will even help them, but I always look forward to watching football, and an upset can occur. You never know. Teams can have bad days. Going into this week, our challenge was actually games. We each got to sabotage a game. We did this earlier in the season for Halloween, and we each blotted out a game. Now, what sucks is a lot of the games we blocked out had the good players in it. Uh, this could include Philadelphia and Green Bay. We blocked that one out. We also blocked out Cleveland and Tennessee, and there was one other one that we blocked out. So you'll see it in the thumbnail, I'm sure. We couldn't use six teams so the takeaway three games, now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight games to choose from. We don't do Sunday nights, we don't do Mondays, we don't do Thursdays. This is noon and like three o'clock games only. So I'm not huge on this lineup per se, and I'll talk about why, but basically Russell Wilson against the New York Giants, I mean, they're going to win. We all have to know that Russell Wilson and the Seahawks are going to beat the Giants. Let's be realistic. Um... I think the, the Giants are just in a rebuilding process right now, trying to figure out what's best for them. Obviously, not having Saquon has really hurt them this season. Um, moving down into Austin Eckler. My computer's frozen. There it goes. Austin Eckler uh, came back last week, had a good week. Uh, so I put him in against New England, who just haven't been a great team this season. James Robinson is playing uh, Minnesota. I really wanted to pick... Uh, the starting running back for Minnesota, but I couldn't push myself to because he's another like $2,700, and he's been hit and miss. He had two great games in a row a couple weeks ago, and then just, eh. Uh, Chad Beeb, 
I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I put him in as a cheap wide receiver option, mainly because the starting wide receiver uh, for Minnesota is out, which would be, I think, Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson's playing, and Beeb should get some more looks. Uh, we'll see. I think he got seven catches or targets last week. Brandon Cooks, it's the same thing, except uh, Will Fuller, who I actually believe, he seems like a nice and legitimate guy, uh, got in trouble for PEDs. He said basically that he went somewhere last year to have an operation done. He was assured what he was given was not a substance banned by the NFL. He tested positive for a substance banned by the NFL and basically uh, got a six-game suspension. He's out for the rest of the season which is uh, just heartbreaking for Houston fans and just heartbreaking for him. I really feel for the guy. Uh, hopefully he comes out and he has a good season because I know the Chiefs played him opening game or something like a couple years ago, and he was going off, and then he got hurt too. So he's one of those guys who doesn't get a lot of coverage, and uh, hopefully you know everything's good with him. Metcalf against uh, the Giants is somebody I'm kind of like, I might take him out. Because I think that Seattle's just going to build an easy lead. And they're just going to end up running the ball a lot. I looked into playing Chris Carson. But for $8,000, he wasn't really somebody I wanted to play. It felt a little expensive for what they were getting out of him. And they didn't use him a lot last time they played. I think he had only a couple runs. Down into Hunter Henry again this week. Herbert's one of the like top three or five point leaders at the quarterback position. Henry played well last week. He's going up against New England. It took all of my being not to put in Hunter Henry as my starting quarterback this week, but it was the choice I made. Naheem Hines is a cheap running back option against Houston. Uh, I chose him because their starting running back uh, was out, I think, due to injury or something. And then I have the Atlanta Falcons defense against New Orleans. I can't see, I really can't, uh, New Orleans, I can't see them putting up 31 points again, over 30 points against Atlanta. Matt Ryan likes to throw the ball a lot. Uh, which would mean to most of us that they're going to have the ball a lot in their hands. So we'll just see what happens. As of now, as I said, not crazy about some of these p picks like uh, Chad, Beeb, Brandon Cooks, you know, Naeem Hines, choosing the backups, James Robinson against a decent Minnesota team. I'm not saying they're phenomenal, but they're decent. And even Russell Wilson at quarterback against a bad uh, Giants team, I just feel like, they're going to run the ball a lot. So I don't know. I'll probably dive into this a little bit more uh, as we get closer to playing day. But that is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. We're over 700 subscribers now, which means a giveaway coming up very soon after my school semester ends next week. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you, as always, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, as I already said. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Enjoy your games. And I'll talk to you all later.